I've had two marriages now, and I just celebrated my 10th wedding anniversary with my second marriage, which is about how far my first marriage went. He left me on our 10th anniversary. But marriage is supposed to be a benefit to both people. It's supposed to make life easier, and in fact it does, or it should. It's really a really good question to ask yourself. If in your marriage you can say to yourself, life would be easier without this person in it, it's not, it's not just a hard, it's not just the marriage is hard, it's that this is a this is a bad relationship. You shouldn't be in it. If your marriage is hard, it's probably abusive or probably just not supposed to be. If you're in a relationship with someone who is narcissistic, someone who is immature, someone who is not committed, someone who has, you know, is mean or abusive in any way, someone who doesn't want to be there, someone who's just not a good spouse, someone who's selfish, any of those things, it's going to be hard because it shouldn't be. My first marriage was really hard. It was also abusive and because I believed marriage was hard, I stayed way too long. I stayed way too long because it wasn't just hard. It was abusive and it was dysfunctional and it was never going to work. My second marriage, I first of all, I didn't have the stamina left. After what happened with my first marriage, there was no way I had any kind of endurance or any kind of ability to gut it out through hard times anymore. So if this marriage didn't turn out to make my life easier and better, right away it wasn't going to happen. And sure enough, it did. Right from the very beginning, my life with him was much easier than it would have been without him. Life was hard, but my marriage wasn't. My my. Marriage was what made life bearable. And we had a lot of problems coming in from, I had traumatized kids, I had my ex-husband was causing a lot of problems all the time. There were things that were definitely hard, but it wasn't marriage. Marriage made it, made it doable. People don't want to compromise, they're selfish, and all that, too immature to be married. People say it's hard because they want things the way they want them, they want to control somebody, they want to you know, they have these lofty ideas about what they think they deserve. If you are a realistic person who loves someone, who knows how to take care of your own happiness and your own well-being, you don't expect someone to be making you happy, someone to be completing you and all of that. You just want a partner in life and you pick a nice person, you pick another person who's just a good, decent person and you care about their well-being and they care about yours and your good friends, it's going to be easy. Marriage is not going to be the hard part of your life. Marriage is going to be the place where you have rest and you're safe and you have a place you can come relax and you have a place where you have someone who has your back. The notion that marriage is hard is a really poisonous message for at least two reasons. One is that it it will set you up into a situation where if, you're, if there's abuse going on or a relationship that shouldn't really be happening, you might normalize it. You might say, well, marriage is just hard. You know, and that's what I did in my first marriage. So that's one really big problem. And the other thing is you, you, you will be willing to draw to yourself problematic people. Do your own work first. You have, to, you have to do your own work and not expect anyone to fix you. So that's, you know, that's it. But if you are two mature people who come together in a relationship and want to partner up and create a life together, that is not hard. That makes life a whole lot easier than going it alone, out in the world all alone. There are gonna be pitfalls and there are gonna be patches in life, throughout a life, that where life is hard. But marriage in and of itself, just the fact of being married to someone, shouldn't be the hard part of your life. That should be the easy part of your life. If it's not, you need to really look at that because it's probably not a functional relationship. You're probably not with a person who should be married, or maybe you shouldn't be married. Because marriage in and of itself is not hard. And you have to believe that it's not. You know, if you come in believing it's hard, you'll draw that to yourself, you'll react that way, you'll have a negative chip on your shoulder, you have negative belief systems about it. Being married to a narcissist for sure is hard. It also is never gonna work. It also is gonna be you know, miserable forever and it's gonna cause you a lot of pain. So yeah, my first marriage was really hard. The divorce was even harder. You know, it, would, it turned out to be a terrible nightmare in my life 
you know, very destructive and I should never have been in it. That wasn't just marriage is hard and it was normal. That was an abusive situation. There was nothing normal about it. In the second marriage, it's not hard. It's never been hard. It's been a blessing from the beginning. It's made life much easier than it would be without him, you know. But he was 46 when we got married, never been married before, never had any kids. For him, life certainly got more complicated, you know. He brought into his life a woman and two traumatized teenagers and they went through a lot of stuff and we had a lot of stuff with my kids and that was certainly not easy. Life for him got much more complicated and much harder, but I don't think he ever would say that the marriage was what was hard. Life was hard, things were hard, things we had. I came with problems, I complicated his life with some problems. But if you know each other well and you have both decided that this is something you want, it's a priority in your life, you care about the other person's needs, you care about the other person's well-being, you love them, you want them, you want the best for them, and you feel like you can be yourself and you are safe and oh, that is not hard. That makes life really good. <laughs> Saying marriage is hard makes it like a normalized thing and then you don't know that it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be that way. I think that it, it opens us up to being uh, somewhat selfish in our, in our expectations about what, what marriage is all about and our romantic, you know, idea in movies and stuff is really unrealistic and not, you know, not what it's all about. You know, you have to decide for yourself what it is you're, you're wanting from a marriage. You know, what is it, why are you there and are you a good partner and are you willing to take someone into your heart and care about them like you care for yourself and, and have their needs really matter to you and all of that. If you're not ready to do that, you shouldn't be married. If you're not ready to do that, marriage will be hard, for sure. So the idea that marriage is hard is really a false idea. If it's hard, there's a problem. If it's hard, there's a problem. Marriage should not be hard. And I have seen so many couples that stay married where every day is a struggle. Every day is a struggle. It's just not healthy. There's nothing healthy and good about it. It's causing both of them to have all kinds of aggravation and stress and it's awful. A healthy marriage is not hard. A healthy marriage gives us a way to make it through life and, and enjoy life and feel safer and protected and like we're not alone and all of that and like we have a partner. And that's what, that's what marriage is supposed to be. And so if it's hard, take a deeper look at it because maybe it's just not right. Okay, thanks so much you guys, I'll talk with you later.